Am I gonna die? I, this is the biggest thing I just need to know. Am I gonna die? Well, why I fight it, I was secretly delighted. I gave chase and then I let you win. Know that I never knew that you are crazy glue, my darling. And I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and I don't wanna wiggle loose. I don't wanna wiggle loose. Happy Monday, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Um, today has been a crazy day. I won't lie. Um, so this morning, as a lot of you know, was my first estrogen check to see how the stims are going and seeing if I need to add any extra medicine or if I'm on too much medicine. So um, I went in this morning at 9.45 to my doctor's office and again waited and waited and waited for just a blood draw. Um, and my estrogen is at 247 on day four of simulation. And guys, I'm on some high doses of medication. I mean, high doses. Like, um, I'm taking four vials of the Gonal F and one of the Menopur, um daily. So, that's what I've been doing. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, I guess, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, I need to call my clinic and ask. Today she called me and she's like, okay, do 401, do 401. And so I did 401, but do I do that in the morning or in the afternoon too? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think I just injected myself with too much medicine. I <laughs> Whoops. Um, so... So yeah, that was pretty much today. And, um... I think I had my first hormonal meltdown today also. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much what happened. Um, we also had somebody come over to our house today and look at it. And, yeah. That's pretty much all we did. We didn't do a whole lot. We just did that and then, um, of course, we had to clean our entire house just for them to come into our home for two seconds. Ah! When you have children, it is not wise. It is not wise to put your house on the market. And mind you, this is kind of out of our control because we rent right now. Um, my husband's in the military, as most of you guys know. So we didn't want to buy another house since we still owned a house in Houston. So we just decided to rent here. And we've been renting this house for almost three years now. And... Um, so yeah, we only have like a year and a half left here and now he wants to sell the house. So I'm praying and praying and praying that it is to an investor and not to an, like a normal everyday Joe that wants to just live here themselves. Um, so yeah, that was kind of stressful today, what happened. And then um, I took the kids to um, a little bounce house place to play with their friends and that kind of got the energy out, but then it also brought some of the brattiness out in the kids. So we stopped, we, we started playing about 1230-ish, 1 o'clock, and then um, around like 2.30, I think all kids had just hit like a wall. They're like, done. And when they hit that wall, there's really no coming back from it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, my four-year-old I think had a mental breakdown he was like nobody likes to play with me everyone likes Kim blah, blah. and he's four I'm like oh my gosh are you kidding me you're four so I think it was just he was so tired and it was time for him to do something else besides being overstimulated by the bounce houses and he did fall asleep on the way home which was great so, um, yeah, I was able to drop the, the boys off here at the house because my husband was home today, thank God. And I ran over to TJ Maxx and grabbed some cute um, bath mats for our bathroom and um, found them at a really good price. So, I was pleased with that. I just, I mean, our house is fine. I just wanted to add a little something extra. We've been needing bath mats anyways for our bathroom, so... 
Here, I think I can show you from here. Let me see if you guys can see our bathroom. Bath mats. They're just plain, but yeah, they were needed. They were much needed. Our, um, our floors are really cold whenever you get out of the shower. I mean, you live in Florida, so how cold could it possibly be? But I was just telling Rodney a couple of days ago we needed some anyway, so this was a perfect time to get some, and I'm glad that I found them in a good deal. So, yeah. But you guys, I think like I really over medicated myself. Like, is that, am I gonna die? Is, and are these stimulation medicines gonna kill me? I'm really afraid now. What do I do? What would you do? You call the doctor? What do I do? I think I have like IVF brain or something because I'm not supposed to take anything tonight or so I thought. For some reason right after I got off the phone with her I thought that I was supposed to take something because she said 4-1 and I, I don't I don't know. What am I supposed to do? What do I do? Am I just, are my ovaries going to grow fast? Are my follicles going to grow faster and it will all even out in the end? Please tell me I'm not going to die like ovarian failure like my ovaries are going to bust open. Like, oh. Please tell me it's okay. Ugh. I'm terrified now, you guys. What am I going to do? Alright. If you guys know what I should do, leave a comment below. Because it's going to be on my mind all night. I need some help. You guys got to help me. I, I need some help now. Um, so yeah, let me know what to do. And hopefully I'll have an update for you guys on... Wednesday because I'm going back and this time I'm actually doing a sonogram with my blood work um today I just did a bl um, blood work just to see where my estrogen's at so Wednesday sonogram and blood work and I will try to bring my camera with me to some part of my appointment this morning I have every intention of bringing the camera with me and then I went to pick it up and guess what I had the it's gonna die blinking at me the little battery beep 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 you're not taking it today and my only other option was to take my huge Nikon camera, DSLR, DSLR camera. No, that is not a vlogging camera. I am not taking that with me anywhere. So I will try. I will make sure that this thing is charged, and I will try to take you guys with me on Wednesday when I go. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great Monday. You know what? You know what shows I'm watching on Monday. Vanderpump, Teen Mom. I forgot that the Duggars was on, but tonight is apparently Ginger's wedding, so I'm going to be tuning into that. And I don't know. What else should I be watching? You guys let me know if I'm going to die tonight from STEM medicines, if my ovaries are going to explode, what shows I should be watching. And am I going to die? I, this is because I just need to know. Am I going to die? So let me know, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. See you guys Wednesday.